What if the very forces we rely on every day, from lighting a room to transmitting signals across the globe, were the result of a single discovery? This question takes us back to the groundbreaking work of James Clerk Maxwell, a figure who transformed theoretical concepts into the foundation of modern technology. His contributions are so profound that Albert Einstein himself acknowledged Maxwell's impact on the world, particularly through his revelation that electricity and magnetism are intrinsically linked. Without this pivotal insight, the technologies that define our daily lives might never have come to be. But before this world-changing discovery, Maxwell's journey began much earlier. At just 14 years old, he published his first academic paper, which detailed a novel method of drawing geometric curves using twine. Though the content of the paper wasn't revolutionary, it marked the start of Maxwell's lifelong pursuit of scientific inquiry. A respected professor at Edinburgh University described the work as ingenious, and it was this early achievement that set Maxwell on the path to a career in mathematics. Born in Edinburgh on June 13, 1831, Maxwell spent his childhood on a sprawling estate in southwest Scotland. From a young age, his curiosity about how things worked was apparent. At two years old, he pulled a rope in one room and was fascinated to hear a bell ring in another, a moment that seemed like magic, or rather, the early stirrings of his scientific mind. His mother described him as endlessly inquisitive, always asking, Show me how it does. Alongside his scientific interests, Maxwell had an exceptional memory, able to recite long passages of poetry, including all 176 verses of Psalm 119. His faith was as deep as his intellect, and he once wrote, Science is but an image of the truth, and should speak only so far as it is spoken to, suggesting that science alone could not answer all of life's questions. Maxwell's mother, who was nearly 40 when he was born, played a significant role in his early education. However, tragedy struck when she died of abdominal cancer when Maxwell was just eight years old, the same illness that would eventually claim his life. A private tutor was brought in, but the arrangement failed when the tutor reportedly beat Maxwell and criticized him for being slow. At age 10, Maxwell was sent to the prestigious Edinburgh Academy, where he faced new challenges. He was often teased for his rural attire and strong Galloway accent, earning the nickname Dafty, a Scottish term for silly or foolish. Despite these hardships, his extraordinary talents remained undeniable, even if they were not yet understood by his peers. Maxwell's brilliance began to gain recognition during his time at the University of Cambridge, where his math tutor, William Hopkins, famously remarked that Maxwell was unquestionably the most extraordinary man he had ever met. When Maxwell applied for a teaching position at Marischal College in Aberdeen, to be closer to his ailing father, Hopkins wrote a glowing reference, predicting Maxwell would become one of the most distinguished men of science in this or any other country. At just 25, Maxwell was appointed Chair of Natural Philosophy at Marischal College, overseeing the entire department. Sadly, his father passed away before he could witness his son's success. Maxwell's personal life was equally significant. He married Catherine, the daughter of the head of Marischal College, who was seven years his senior. Though they had no children, their partnership was highly fruitful, with Catherine assisting Maxwell in various experiments, including his famous work on color. Maxwell was the first to demonstrate that the human eye perceives only red, blue, and green light, with all other colors being combinations of these three. He even calculated the exact proportions of red, blue, and green needed to produce any other color, a discovery that led to the development of color photography. His colleague, Thomas Sutton, used Maxwell's method to create the world's first color photograph in 1861. 
a tartan ribbon immortalized in history. While at Marischal College, Maxwell also tackled a mystery that had puzzled scientists for over 200 years, the composition of Saturn's rings. Using mathematics, he deduced that the rings could only remain stable if they consisted of countless small particles independently orbiting Saturn. This theory was confirmed over a century later when the Voyager probes sent back images of the rings, proving Maxwell's calculations correct. Despite his growing reputation, Maxwell faced professional setbacks. When Marischal College merged with King's College to form the University of Aberdeen, Maxwell's position became redundant. He applied for a chair at the University of Edinburgh, but was passed over in favor of his childhood friend, physicist Peter Tait. Fortunately, King's College London recognized his talents and appointed him Chair of Natural Philosophy in 1860. Before assuming this role, Maxwell suffered a near-fatal bout of smallpox, crediting his wife with saving his life. In the years that followed, Maxwell would return the favor, nursing Catherine back to health during a serious illness. Their marriage, described by Maxwell's biographer as one of unexampled devotion, was a testament to their deep bond. Maxwell's time in London was the most productive period of his life, culminating in discoveries that would shape the 20th century. Building on the work of Michael Faraday, Maxwell established the connection between magnetism and electricity leading to the concept of electromagnetism. He demonstrated that varying electric and magnetic forces could create waves of energy that travel through space at the speed of light, laying the groundwork for the electromagnetic spectrum. This discovery, which Maxwell likened to ripples on water, was revolutionary. He theorized that light was just one form of electromagnetic wave, a hypothesis that would later be proven true and paved the way for countless technological advancements, from radio waves to X-rays. This pivotal advancement began with the work of James Clerk Maxwell, who unveiled the existence of electromagnetic waves, some of which are invisible to the human eye, like radio waves, microwaves, and X-rays. His discovery set the stage for the development of nearly every modern electrical and electronic technology that we now take for granted, enabling the transmission of signals through the air. In 1865, Maxwell formulated a set of equations that encapsulated all known relationships between electricity and magnetism, equations that now bear his name. These equations didn't just explain the behavior of electromagnetic waves, they provided Albert Einstein with the foundation he needed to develop his most famous theory. Maxwell's work showed that the speed of light remains constant regardless of the observer's motion, a concept that Einstein used to revolutionize our understanding of space and time. To illustrate, if you throw a ball at 20 miles an hour toward someone running toward you, the ball appears to approach them faster. If they run away, it seems to slow down. But light behaves differently. No matter how you move relative to it, light always travels at the same speed. This revelation was so significant that Einstein himself declared, I stand on the shoulders of Maxwell, a statement underscoring the profound impact of Maxwell's work on the greatest scientific minds. He even kept a portrait of Maxwell in his office as a tribute to this influence. In 1871, Maxwell became the first Cavendish professor of physics at Cambridge University a prestigious role that placed him in charge of developing the Cavendish Laboratory. This institution would go on to produce over 30 Nobel laureates, underscoring the enduring legacy of Maxwell's contributions to science. Despite his groundbreaking work, Maxwell remained relatively obscure outside academic circles, his genius largely unrecognized by the general public during his lifetime. His work laid the groundwork for future discoveries but he passed away at a young age, before his contributions could be fully appreciated. In April 1879, Maxwell began to experience symptoms of abdominal cancer, the same disease that claimed his mother's life. As his health declined, 
he reflected on his life with remarkable humility, expressing gratitude for the gentle course it had taken and a desire to serve his generation, much like the biblical King David. Maxwell passed away on November 5, 1879, at the age of 48, and was laid to rest in a simple grave near his childhood home, alongside his wife and parents. Although he received few public honors during his life, Maxwell's legacy has grown over time, earning him recognition as one of the greatest minds in science. His contributions are encapsulated in a popular saying, and God said, Maxwell's equations, and there was light. Through his mathematical brilliance, Maxwell unlocked the secrets of electricity and magnetism, paving the way for countless technological advances that continue to shape our world. How might the discoveries of today be shaping the innovations of tomorrow? And who, like Maxwell, will be remembered as the unseen force behind the next wave of scientific breakthroughs? If you're intrigued by how science shapes our world, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell on Tech Titans. Join us as we explore the minds that have changed the course of history.